Star Wars Rebels returned this week with a brand new episode entitled Legend of the Lasat. As the episode begins, the crew of the Ghost have been called in to liberate some refugees from the Empire. Surprise, surprise, these guys are no regular refugees, these guys are Lasat, Zeb's race, which he and by extension the audience thought had all been wiped out. Moreover, this little rescue mission, as we find out, was set up with information from everyone's favorite slimy space pirate, Hondo Onaka. Really, any episode with him in it, you know is gonna be special. By far, his standout moment in this episode has to be a very cleverly put together close quarters fight scene in a bunch of corridors wherein he keeps switching alliances every five minutes. Now, these two new Lasats are nothing like Zeb. One is a pacifist who gave up fighting when it didn't save his homeworld, and the other is an old mystic who speaks of a legendary planet wherein the Lasat can start over. What's cool about this is that the magic she employs is just another one of many names for the Force. I dig this idea that the Force is such a huge, all-encompassing thing that takes many forms and touches many races who don't necessarily need to become Jedi or Sith. At first, Zeb is cynical about this legend. He's also dealing with a mess of survivor's guilt, and he blames himself for the fate of his homeworld. A cool framing device this episode uh, uses is that the Lasat prophecy speaks of a fool, warrior, and child, with almost everyone on the ghost wondering who these people are going to be. And you know what? They're by far not as obvious as you might think they would be. Hunting the Rebels, as always, is Agent Callus, with a little help from Hondo, who can always be expected to switch sides when it suits him best, or when he figures it will save his skin, or, you know, if there's a reward involved. This leads to a showdown by a series of collapsed stars, an absolutely stunning piece of animation helped out by an amazing piece of almost opera-sounding music. This is where Zeb more or less becomes a kind of Moses figure to his people, using his staff to part the universe and lead his friends to their new home. I was kind of wondering wondering as Agent Callus had such a deeper connection to the Lasat genocide, and if you remember, he has one of those stolen bow staffs of his own. I thought this would come into more play in this episode. Sadly, it didn't. In the end, the good guys find a new home for the Lasat, and everything gets wrapped up in a nice, tidy bow. Hey, Rebel Fleet, you guys needed a new base, right? Why can't you just hang out here? I mean, it's the perfect place. It's hidden. You basically need to move heaven and earth to get inside this area of space. Why don't you guys set up shop here? Oh, oh, to too polite to talk about? Okay, moving on then. The Lasat Legend was another great focus episode that grows Zeb in a very meaningful way. It's also very funny, has some of the best music I've heard in the show to date, and was genuinely just a fun ride from start to finish. I give this one a most definitely deserved 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.